Well, hello, 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 everybody. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. Uh, this is our first stream, if um, anyone's ever <laughs> wondering. Um, today, if well, first off, if um, you don't know me, my name's Kekami, and I believe, yeah, okay, I did unmute the mic. <laughs> we have that habit. Um, <laughs> and um, today we're actually going to be playing the game Final Fantasy. This is going to be our first day and I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait. So I'm going to go ahead, jump into the game. We're going to get this started and I am just so excited to be doing this. So let's go ahead and get this going. So I am going to, let's log this in. Let's jump over here. Hopefully this will come up here soon. Oh, we don't have our little logo here. Let's do this and, no, not that one, this one. There we go. We're ready. All right, so we are gonna pick our data center first and I'm gonna turn this down. I hope it's not too loud. If there's, since this is our first stream, if there are any issues whatsoever um, regarding quality, regarding sound, please let me know. Actually, you know what? I think I may put that in chat real quick. Um, let's say this is our, oh, can't hear me. Uh-oh. Okay, one second. Oh, hmm. All right, so let's take a look here. That is on. Mic check. Anything now? Thoughts? Yay? No. I take it that's a no. Uh-oh. Here. Well, no, we don't want to do that. Let's check this. Hmm. This should be on. Can you hear the... Um, here, let's see. Can you... Here, the never mind, speakers were down. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, Gemini. Gemini, <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> you missed my snazzy intro <laughs> or lack thereof. Alrighty, we got that figured out. First things first, we're gonna pick a data center. This is gonna be where our character is going to reside. I'm thinking about going to Aether. And I've kind of been doing a little bit of research on to um, where I kind of wanted us to be, but we're, we're checking it out. We're working on it. So we need to pick a world. I like Cactar. I live in the desert in the Southwest, so I'm thinking Cactar. And then our character, if you remember from the... Okay, good. If you remember from... Um our poll that we did, we uh, had, we voted on characters. So I'll just go through them real quick, but obviously we know which one got picked. There is the Makote. We're gonna go back, cancel, nope. Back this way, yeah, new character. This is the one, oh wait, here, let's go through this. There was the Lala, stupidly cute. I had a lot of fun in the character creation. Let's just put it that way. It was uh, quite a quite a uh, adventure. But this is the one that we chose, and I am actually in love with this character. I really think we did great on her. Her face, her eye shape, her eye size. I mean, come on. The hardest part, I think, is going to be picking what job we're going to start with. Yes. So we're gonna pick this character. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then four, we have to pick a birth date. Today is March 16th. <laughs> Thank you, Gemini, I really appreciate it. She said, I love your videos and I've been watching Palea and Pal World and she loves them and thank you so much. You have no idea how much that, that it actually means a lot to me. Cause I kind of started this on a whim, I figured, I like the game, so why not just share the adventures? And so, yeah, I'm looking over here at my date here. So today is March 16th. I think we're gonna make our character's birthday today, which sounds great. <laughs> and so we're gonna confirm. Mm -hmm. So now we have to kind of come up with a, goodness, 
a deity. Kind of reading through some of these. And I know I'm going through this fast. I'd rather get into the gameplay because it's going to be a lot of heavy story and heavy reading. And I kind of want to really get into the story. So I'm trying to go through this a little quick. I did kind of pre-choose a little bit of this stuff. The only thing I didn't pre-choose was the starting job. And that's just because I couldn't decide. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's see. I was thinking, since we are a Palea, Pal World kind of thing, I was thinking of actually going with time. It was between Nofika, I think that's Nofika, and Althic. I think we go with time. I actually really liked this one when I read it. Althic is a surveyor of change in space and god of time. He commands the element of Earth and is associated with the 12th moon of the Eorzean calendar. calendar. Althic is the father of Azima and Menphilia, and elder brother to Nimia. He is most often depicted as austere emperor wielding a mithril great axe, and his symbol is the hourglass. I thought the surveyor of change, space, god of time, I actually really, really liked it. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's weird, because like I hear myself differently than what the mic picks me up too. And so when I play back my videos, oh my goodness. So, yeah, <laughs> I know. All right, so we're gonna grab this here. And then we are going to, where's our okay? Yes, here's our okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we gotta decide our job. Here, I'll zoom out just a little bit. And the question is, do we play as a tank, a DPS, or a healer? That is the biggest question. And I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go through all the, cl the clothes. So, Gladiator, this ends up being your paladin. We got our pugilist, which turns into our monk. We got Marauder, who ends up being our um, warrior. I kind of like this. I actually really like this. We got Lancer. This will be your Dragoon. Kind of looks cool. Not going to lie. Archer. This kind of matches her colors. I kind of like the Archer. It looks kind of good on her. Not gonna lie. And then that's all for our tanks and, well, our physical DPS. Conjurer. This is our magic DPS. This is gonna be our white mage. Our thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. There we go. This is gonna be our black mage, which I hear is actually really, really difficult. I don't know if I really like this thing. I think Thaumaturge is out, just based on looks alone. And Arcanist, which actually looks kind of cool too. It's got kind of that piratey kind of look. Hmm. So Gemini asked how long I'm going to be live for, and I'm going to do about two hours, um, kind of the same as what our normal, what my normal videos are. And then I'm going to kind of convert this over and anything you miss will be posted onto the YouTube channel on uh, Wednesday. That's, or yeah, Wednesday. I gotta think, how long is it gonna take me to edit and do all the other stuff? So yeah, that's kind of where I'm, where I'm thinking. So that way anyone who missed this could definitely catch up. So that, that's kind of the plan right now. The question is, I kind of like the Arcanist. This is kind of a neat look. But I also like the Archer. I love this starting city. Gridania, kind of nice. I think it'd be kind of nice. It's more foresty versus oceany. Do we have a vote? Hmm. Let's go Arcanist. Let's go to Limza Lominza. I think we may regret it. 
<laughs> nah, I think it'll be fine. I hear the, um, the pirate talk in Limza Lomenza is really kind of difficult to read. So, maybe we go Conjurer. We could go White Mage. Hmm. Have a good lark, Gemini. Let's do... I really can't decide. I think they all look really good. Shoot. Archer's gonna have a long queue time. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sit here. I've been agonizing over this for like a week now. You know what? Let's just go. Let's go Conjurer. Or Archer. Ah, I can't decide. <laughs> you guys are probably laughing at me. That's okay. That's okay. Um, we're going Archer. Three, two, one. Confirm. It's done. Mm -hmm. Nope. We're going to select another. I don't know why it took me back there. Tactar, please. Gilgamesh, Genova. Yeah. Siren. Oh, those ones. This is not accepting new players. Okay. So Cactar is going to have to be it. Confirm. Oh. And we're going to be Kami. What do we have? Oh. Kami Yaxen? Kikami Rhoda, CB, Tep, Kikami Arda. You know what? We're going to go with what I, I don't like any of the random ones. We'll go Kikami Heart. There we go. Sure. Confirm. That's us. I love it. Begin new character at this, begin new game with this character. Yes, please. Let's give this a try. I know we can change jobs. Oh, and we get the queue. It's not that bad, though. I'm excited. Super duper excited. Ugh. So. While we wait, we're gonna have to think of something here. Uh, we can't even turn our character around. We can't look at her. That's okay. Archer, well, we're gonna start in a good spot. I like the archer. Oh, here we go. Oops, sorry for the bump.
Oi! Y'all right, lass? Hmm? You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be the aether, I reckon. Some are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. party for us. <laughs> Feeling better, Koopo? Aha! You can see us. I had a feeling you could, Koopo. We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. All right. Normal folks can't see or hear us, which makes you special, Koopa. And seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The woods can be restless as of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you chance to witness anything suspicious, Koopa? No, not really. <gasps> you're gonna drink all of his drink? But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopo. Is the other one going to fly off funny? Nope. He flies normal. Nope. Oh, we're going to go talk to his buds. <laughs> I love it. Gridania's still a fair way off, in case you're wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Them youngins don't care too much for conversation, see? Breadmont's the name, and Pedlin's betrayed. As for your good self, as for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you're one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? You are. I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. Oh, what was it that first attracted you to it? Hmm. To gain power, to win glory, to amass a fortune. How about to help others? Let's go to help others. Hmm, not really sure. Just kind of wanted to do it. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might as might be as old Breadmont's a chatterbox, but he sure as hell's ain't no busybody. We all have a secret or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. All right. And I'd rather they say it's secret, too. Which is why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Halt! Go no further! What's this, then? Ah! <laughs> hmm. Well, what's going on? A skirmish is broken out, out up ahead with the Ixel. For your own safety, you must remain here until... Until what? Oh. Here come these guys. Uh oh. Bloody hells. We shall hold them here. Try to break clear. Go, driver, run. 
That was too bleeding close. Nice of the Ixel to send us a welcoming party though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends. So just you take care, alright? Will do. By and by, this is your first trip to Gridania. Or is this your first trip to Gr Gridania? I'm gonna say yes. It is. It is? Well then, let this journeyed itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. The city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest, luscious forest in all Eorzea, which is great. I love forests. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be, saying that. Not since the Calamity laid half of it to waste. Oh no. The destruction prompted a herd of new natives, new nasties to move in and gave the Ixel unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids have become a daily occurrence. Okay. Ah, long last. Behold, Redania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. The Black Shroud, the ancient forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Oh, I click? No, okay. Just making sure. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the seventh umbral era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the Marcus to deliver me wares, then it's back to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks of keeping me company. Well, thank you. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider us square. Sounds good. I like that idea. May the matron take her to her bosom that she may never want. And in her heart, so serenity purity, and sanctity. Here we go. I love the detail. It's kind of one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to do this here. I wanted to make sure all this detail came across. You there! Yes, you! Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. Huh? Um, Bertinent. A wood whaler of Gridania. 
It is my duty to protect our nation from our enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let us see which you are. Okay. All right. Welcome to Gardania, a vibrant forest nation cradled in the bosom of nature. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Okay. We're going to use mouse keyboard. Yep. I think we're good here. That's pretty standard. Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of your camera. When you are ready, proceed. Ready to proceed, speak to pertinent. Open the lodestone play guide. Not right now. I think we're going to kind of do that. We're going to remove this from our queue. We're going to see how this works, this UI works. We probably will change it eventually, but for right now, we're going to leave it. Initiating quests. Non-player non -player characters, NPCs, offering quests can be recognized by the exclamation points above their heads. Right-click the mark to bring up the quest window. Okay. Got it. Once you've initiated a quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Click on, click on the Accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your list of current duties. Got it. So, this is coming to Gordania. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Gordania, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Let's do it. Another green adventurer, I presume? I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Okay. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Carleen Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local Adventurers Guild, in case you are wondering. The Carleen Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to Mother Meun within and she will take you in hand. So I do plan on reading all the stuff. I think it's fun. To me, the story is super important. And so for those that don't know me, um, so yeah, expect a lot of heavy reading and a lot of story. You've begun a quest, all right. Duty list to help you complete your task. Uh, once upon accepting, upon accepting a quest, once upon, <laughs> The current objectives will appear under the quest duty list, right side of the screen. Five quests can be displayed at once, okay? Clicking on the title will open your journal, allowing you to review the objectives and rewards. So let's give it a try. All right. So there's our quest list. Cool. Oh, map. And it'll even tell us where it is. Very cool. I'm gonna open this up a little bit more. There we go. And close. So if I go to my map, yeah, I like that. That works. Okay. We probably need to change a bunch of settings, and that's okay. We can do that. We got honorant. Honorant. Did you say anything? Ah, give a man a bloody friggin' a bloody fright. Sneaking up on me like that? Hmm, newly come to Gridania, are you? Then I suggest you continue on your merry way to the Carleen Canopy, just behind me. Mother Miyun will want a word with you. All right. I thought it'd be fun. Eh, we'll be good. We will actually do this. <laughs> There's Mother Miyun. Complete the quest by right-clicking the NPC with a check mark displayed above his or her head. Completing quests will earn you a variety of rewards and experience points. Okay. Boop. Hello. Well, well, what have we here? A wide-eyed and wandering young adventurer come to put your name down at the guild, I assume. Uh-huh. Welcome. Miyoon's my name, or Mother Miyoon, as most call me, and the Carleen Canopy is my place. As the head of the Adventures Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledging heroes who pass through our gates. 
No matter your ambitions, the Guild is here to help you attain them. In return, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gradania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? To an outsider's eyes, all may seem well with our nation, but not could be further from the truth. People live in a state of constant apprehension. The Ixel and various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble. Trouble compounded by the ever-present threat of the Garlean Empire to the north, and that's to say nothing of the calamity. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal, but ah, uh, ah, uh, but I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years past, Eorzea was a well-nigh laid waste when a dreadworm emerged from within the lesser moon, Dalamond and rained fire upon the realm. It is this which people call the Calamity. Scarcely a square mom of the Twelve's Wood was spared the devastation. Yet, despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it all happened. I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts surrounding the Calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions of events as there are people willing to recount them. Hmm. Yet, amidst the hazy recollections and conflicting accounts, all agree on one thing, that Eorzea was saved from certain doom by a band of Balin adventurers. This place is really cool. Whatever else we've misremembered, none of us have forgotten the heroes who risked life and limb for the sake of the realm. And yet, whenever we try to say their names, the words die upon our lips. And whenever we try to call their faces to mind, we see naught but silhouettes amidst a blinding glare. Thus have these adventures come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Ahem, pray do not feel daunted by these by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another warrior of light, only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. All that's left then is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill, scrawl your name right there. Oh, and I would appreciate it if you used your real name. There's a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. <laughs> what? Never. Guys, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Keikami Hart. Hmm. And you're quite sure that isn't an amusing alias? A hundred percent. It's not amusing. Very well. From this moment forward, you are a registered adventurer of Gridania, nation of Gridania, nation blessed of the elements and the bounty of the Twelve's Wood. The guild expects great things from you. Okay. Look at what just arrived. Another God's damn adventurer. What? Really? Don't you start with that. Adventures are the very salve that Gr Gridania needs. The Elder Seed Seeker herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? Of course not. Lest you forget, it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? Oh. You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here, or I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into the seventh hell. But, but... I just avoided it with my name. <laughs> right? Oh, I get nervous. I play with my hair. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Ahem. Pray that outburst no mine. He meant only to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the Twelve's Wood of late, you see. And the Wood Whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. As is often the way with folks who live in isolation. Gridanians 
are wont to mistrust things they do not well know. Your good self included. Fear not, however, given a catalog ex of exemplary deeds and no more than a handful of years, the locals will surely warm to you. Oh man. Years. On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Cordania. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Now then, you may depend on old Mother Mayune to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. Coming to Gridania, we're done. Complete. This concludes an introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first steps as an adventurer in the city of Gridania. Listen well to the wisdom of Mother Mayune then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. All right. We leveled up. And we learned a couple traits. Okay. We done? Main scenario quests. Important quests used to tell the story of Eorzea and her people are called main scenario quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others because it's got this kind of icon. Quests using this icon indicate a task or a series of tasks that are tied to new duties or features you have yet to unlock. So this is new stuff. Okay. Boom. Miyum, proprietress of the Carlene Canopy, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Let's do it. Let us begin at the, at the beginning, shall we? Now that you are a formal member of the Adventurer's Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp on the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish for you to perform. All right, let's do it. Your first task is to visit the Aetherite. This massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aetherite Plaza, not far from the Carlene Canopy. As a device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Aetherite plays a key role in the life of, ever, of the ever-wandering adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is touch its surface. A member of the Wood Whalers will be present to offer further instruction. Okay. For your second task, you are to visit the Archer's Guild. There's no better place to learn the arts of the bow. Speak with Althenia and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. Yeah. For your third and final task, I would have you visit the markets at the heart of Old Gridania's commercial district. There, you shall find weapons and armor and all the various items that an adventurer might need on her travels. There is, however, more to the markets than buying and selling goods. Speak with Pars Montre and listen well to his counsel. Yeah, Mars Montre. Okay. The master merchant can be uncooperative at times, so be sure to offer him one of my famous eel pies. So that, like so many men, he's much more charitable when his stomach is full. I made a batch not too long ago. You have your task, Kikami. May no fika guide your path. All right. Ah, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to proffer a helping hand. I'm certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be of realm-shattering importance, but prove your worth and build a reputation. And in time, folks will be more inclined to entrust you with matters of the moment. Okay. I also suggest that you lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventurer's Guild and are an invaluable source of advice for neophyte heroes seeking to attain greatness. Yeah, maybe it's Nepho, maybe Nephilite. No, neophyte, no idea. We're learning new words today. Hey! Hello! <laughs> Let's do this. 
Dum-bum. Hey, main menu. Main menu grants quick and easy access for most of the game's main feature. Selecting character under character opens a window containing your character. Okay. Ah, so it's just talking about this guy right here. Piece of cake. Then we got some of this. Bud layouts, yeah. Progress, okay. Then we got sanctuaries. Crescent moon icon, so it's talking about this right here, is a sanctuary. While this special area, you get a rested bonus. The bonus will continue to grow if you are offline, okay? All experience earned through battle crafting and gathering will, while under the benefit of rested, will be increased by 50%. Oh. Your current rested bonus is displayed at the top of the experience bar. Okay, so that's rested bonus. Okay. Inns and cities, got it. Anything else? Navigation. M opens up the mini map, or selecting map under travel. Okay. The location of quest objectives can also be confirmed by clicking on the objective duty list. Okay. Yeah, we got, I think we got that. All right. Are we set? I think we're set. We are off. And we're off. We do need to do something, oh my gosh, about player names. We're going to fix that real quick while we're here. So we're going to go under character configuration. I did figure out how to do this because I thought it was kind of important. So we're going to go to others. We're going to go to minimize. But we want party members always. So if you're in a party, we'll see ya. Alliance members. I don't know what an alliance member is. Other PCs. Friends. Always. We'll, we'll see our friends where they are, right? You should probably see that. Party members. Okay, I think we're good. Actually, no, let's take... We'll go this um, when targeted. If you're in a party, we're doing something. Not sure about alliance members. If we run into issues, we'll be okay. But I do want enemies to always show up. Always, always, always. NPCs always. Minions, nah. Alright, I think we're good. And close. Now, if we click on someone, we can see all their stuff. Oh, there was one more setting I wanted to put on here. I think it was under character configuration? Was it on... In, no, I thought it was under others. Hmm. General. Display. Yeah, I heard this here was actually pretty cool too. So now you can see what everyone's role is. Okay. Especially when you're when you're in parties. Okay. So this is Gridania. Uh, this looks really cool, guys. Sorry, I won't spin the character the camera around too much. Let's go for a run. Let's go touch this crystal. Shall we? We shall. Touch it. Go. Oh, do we have to... There it goes. We'll get there. We'll get there. Boom. We've attuned to the Aetherite. Greetings, adventurer. I see you are faithfully following Mother Meun's instructions. We are. Hello. Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I am Nysia of the Wood Whalers, and I know a thing or two about Aetherite. Yes, that big crystal right there. Aetherites are devices that tap into ethereal energies and are primarily, primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport are the most common transportation spells. Make direct use of the Aetherites and their connection to the flow of Aether. As these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer worthy of their name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one. Okay. Truly, few things in this world are so useful to an intrepid explorer. 
but you need not locate them all at once. Before rushing out into the wilds, I suggest you start with the Aetherites found here in Gridania. Okay. Should you wish to learn more about the Aetherite or transportation magic, I'm here to answer your questions. Alright, thank you. Return learned. You attune with the Aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. Alright. One down. Return. Oh. The spell return can be used to instantly travel back to the Aetherite set as your home point. Casting a spell does not require any MP and can be accessed by selecting the return under travel. Is that this one? Teleport returned. There we go. Do we have it set as our home point? Let's make sure. Map return. I guess that's it. I guess we're good. Oh. It can only be cast once every 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, there's a sound. Only one home point can be set at any time. To make an Aetherite your new home point, right click on the crystal to bring out the Aetherite menu. Ah, okay, so let's make this our set home point. There we go. Interesting. Aethernet. Okay. Well, we did that. That was a thing. Let's see. Where do we need to go next? This way. Where are we? We are right here. So we need to kind of maybe turn around. Are we going? Maybe we'll go this way. Mm -hmm. I do like music. Music in games. And I heard this game is like fantastic for music. Look, there's another Moogle. I think there's an Easter celebration happening here. Uh-oh. I think it'll be fine. Oh my gosh, I love it. We got all the eggs. Those are so cool. We may have to uh, deviate from the main story. Maybe next time. And we will look at all of this. Oh, Aetherite Shard. Yes, please. We'll attune to that one. I guess we gotta pick up all these sh uh, shards too while we're at it. So that's gonna be, you now have access to the ethernet. Quick travel throughout the city can be achieved by simply placing your hand upon aetherite shards. Okay, ethernet. Okay, so now we can do the city state's ethernet. Used for quick intra-city travel. So if we click on this, this is more for giggles. Mm. So we can go there, we can go there. All right, I'm assuming there's going to be more all over the place, so we'll have to take a look. Check this out. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, we don't get to shoot anything. I love these, though. This is cool. Guys, this is exciting. I'm so excited. Let's go. Oh, no, we're not going to... We'll, we'll stick with this guy right here. Greetings, friend. You found your way to the Archer's Guild. Do you seek to uncover the secrets of our art? I do. Ah, now that I think of it, you have the look of one who has received Mother Meun's gentle instruction. <laughs> Very well, I shall give you a brief introduction to archery and the Archer's Guild. The skills practiced by our archers allow them to engage an enemy's weakness from afar and turn the tide of battle within a single, well-placed arrow. Should you join us, you'll be taught to do the same. Archery, as practiced in Gridania, was born of two distinct styles of bowmanship. The first was designed, devised by the longbow sentries of the Elizen, who once ruled the lowlands, while the second belonged to the shortbow hunters of the formerly nomadic Makote. As you will doubtless be aware, both races ultimately came to call the Twelve's Wood home. Okay. Though the two people began as rivals, they gradually learned to live together in harmony. During this time, they learned from one another their two schools of archery, intermingling to give birth to the art as it is known today. For a time, the bow was used primarily for hunting, but as the hunters vied with one another to prove who was the better shot, there emerged a group of archers whose ultimate goal lay not in the practical pursuit of prey, but in perfection. Thus, 
was the Archer's Guild born from the ranks of the Trapper's League. It is the way of the Guild to promote greatness in archery through friendly competition, and the results of our methods can be seen in the vaunted archers of the God's Quiver, ah, many of whom spent their formative years losing, losing arrows at the Guild's practice butts. I hope this gives you a better idea of who we are and what we do here. Oh, did I see the spark of ambition flare within your eyes? If you wish to draw a string with the finest archers in Eorzea, look no further than the Archer's Guild. Before you can enlist, however, you must gain the approval of the Guildmaster. Once you are ready to proceed, speak with me again and we can begin seeing about your enrollment. All right, we visited the Archer's Guild. Maybe we need to talk to her to get it started. We probably do. But we're going to continue. Let's go for a walk. Do we join the Archer's Guild? Do we kind of wait? And we decided already to be an archer. We're going to go ahead and join the Archer's Guild. Let's get this done. So, are you resolved to join the Archer's Guild? Sure. Athelnia, Athelnia wishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Archer's Guild. And we get some food. Is that food? Yes, food. We like food. Hot meal would always work. <laughs> the look in your eyes speaks your determination. It would be my pleasure to refer you to the Guildmaster, Lusain. Lest you worry unduly, Lusain is an affable and kind-hearted woman. Even though... Even those not of the guild have been known to seek her counsel on various matters, and ever have they been given fair hearing. Hussein awaits you in the training area yonder, present yourself before her, and impress upon her your desire to join the guild. Okay. So we got another quest. We do need to talk to the market. So let's go finish that first. So let's go find this market. So if we go back this way, we kind of come back into that main area, if I remember. Let's see, got that. Maybe this way? The other way didn't look too much like a market, so I think maybe we go this way. Oh, this definitely looks like a market. Yep, this is a market. Summoning bell. What do we summon? Retainers! You have not yet received approval to hire retainers. Oh. They're used to call forth any retainers you have in your employ. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to maintain items and gill as well as place goods for sale. So it's almost like a chess system. Once you have been given, been given approval to hire retainers, speak with Friedwib in Limza Lumenza, Parnell in Gridania, Chachabi in Old Ah, Prunella in Ishgard, or Kazashi in Kugane. Kugani? Kugani. Okay. Not yet received approval. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much. I just like, we're just gonna click on things. We're looking for our guy. Where's our guy? I think we passed him. I think. So we got arms. We got culinary. We got food. Exotics, okay. Independent apothecary. Someone crafting. Oh, here, this is who we need. Parse Montre. By what right does a fledgling adventurer presume to address Parse Montre, master of the markets? <laughs> you think you can stroll in here, bold as you please, and demand my hard-earned knowledge? Ha! A merchant does not for naught, especially when dealing with would-be heroes. 
If, on the other hand, you had some tasty morsel to curry my favor, then I might reconsider your request. Come now, this whole encounter reeks of Mion's handiwork, and more specifically her baking. Don't look so surprised, lass. I smelled that eel pie of yours a mom away. Hand it over. <laughs> he wants... There you go. We got it. Uh, click? No. We have to move it? Uh, we have to move it. Okay. Hand over. Oh, real quick. Drink. <laughs> Better. Mmm, that flaky crust. Just a vine. Very well. I'm a man of my word. Pay close attention, for I shall only explain this once. The aspiring adventurer need look no further than the rosewood and ebony stalls. Both are but a short stroll from where we stand. If you mean to do battle, you'd be best prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. Okay. Such goods are the province of the rosewood stalls, directly south of here. You will be pleased to learn that the merchants of Gridania are exceedingly particular when it comes to craftsmanship. So, you needn't fear defective straps and the like. Okay. If, if it is potions and paraphernalia you seek, head north to the ebony stalls. Okay. The shelves there are lavishly stocked by widely traveled Uldalian merchants. And I may truly say that I have seen things amongst their myriad wares that I scarce knew existed. Do you follow me thus far? The first step in any purchase is to select the stalls that meet your needs. Then you may concern yourself with the price and profit. There is little more I can teach you with mere words. Go peruse the stalls and see for yourself what wares they offer. There is no substitute for first-hand experience. After all, and I am weary of talking, unless you have another eel pie. <laughs> Handing over items. Some quests will require you to deliver items to NPC requiring an item. Item request window up here, you drag the items, okay. And click hand over. Okay, I thought maybe there was... Active help windows can be disabled. Really? No, oh, that's this. This is an active help window. Okay. I didn't know you had to drag it. I thought maybe you could just click it and do it. But, okay. That's fine. We'll figure it out. So we got to go and peruse the stalls, I guess. I guess we kind of did that. Let's go this way. We haven't really gone out this direction. Let's see where this goes. Let's go here. There's another shard for us. <clears throat> Let's try collecting these shards while we're here. I think it's going to be important. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. There we go. We got the Leather Workers Guild and the Shaded Bow. Shaded Bow. It's got one there. Looks like there's one all the way up here and over here. Maybe we go north and then come back down. I really want to see this. We'll go, we'll go up north. We'll come back down. Let's try running. Ooh. Look, we can run. <laughs> can we jump? We can jump. We're doing good. This may be slow. I think I'm debating if we want to stream two nights a week or two days a week versus one. I think there's going to be a lot of content to cover, and one night a week may not um, cut it. So that's kind of what I'm looking, or kind of what I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking if we do these Saturday mornings, maybe Wednesday evening? That's kind of the thought. Where are we? We are up here. Blackboard Gate. The pier. And, okay. We're gonna go this... I guess we'll run around here. But that's kind of the thought right now. Might be worth doing. Just because there is so much. Let's see. What's this direction? Doesn't look like much. 
We're gonna take a look. Where are we Severn. Looks like a gate out. We don't want to do that yet. Let's head out. I do love all the decorations. Ah! This game is pretty. I'm enjoying it. And... Nose? Alright, I gotta see what he says. My wife and child, the men and women with whom I shared a stage, they're gone. Every last one of them. There's nothing left in my life worth a damn. Oh, that's sad. It's kind of cool. Master of the Rolls. Yamitra. Huh. All right, where are we going? We are going to go, I think, this direction. Am I, are we facing? Yeah, we're facing the right way. Let's go this way. We do have to report back to Mother Meun. So we're going to pick up all the little aetherite crystals on the way. Or at least the ones that we do see. Is that one over there? Where are we? We got that one. I think we need this one. Mankito's Amphitheater. This has got to be the amphitheater. This looks like an amphitheater. Curious Collector. Egg Advocate. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely check this out. There's our Aetherite Shark. We'll definitely grab this. Yes, please. I like the music. <laughs> I love it. So there's one all the way over here and one down there. Let's do it. There's Celine. Look at all the names here. Samiane. Samiane. How about Samiane? Oh, there's a crystal. Okay, good. We can go through here. What to plant next? Oh, this must be uh, gardening. Look at this. <gasps> Our home. It's like paleo. We can garden. We're in trouble. All right. Botanist guild. Okay. Botany. Okay. I knew the leaves looked greener. I like this boat. That's pretty. All right, we're gonna head back. Don't wanna spend too much time. I know we gotta go. We'll do an exploration run here soon. We're gonna come around, we're gonna go south, okay. Nope, this way and down. Oh, that gate swung the wrong way, that hurt. Can I run? Yes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Around the corner. Are we lost yet? Nope, we're doing good. Not lost yet. Whoops. We are gonna run into things though. Okay. Ooh. Um, this must be where the uh, mages are. Look at this thing. <gasps> Ooh. That's kind of cool. Maybe we become a mage. Maybe an archer or a mage. See, all the jobs. I know you can pick them all up, but which one do you start with? You have attuned yourself to the Aetherite Shards in Gridania. The Blue Badger Gate, the Yellow Serpent Gate, and the Airship Landing are now accessible as Aetherite destinations. Okay. Now I have access to all the gates. I don't know what that means. Can I move? Yes, I can move, okay. So if we go map. Must mean we can go to the gates, okay. Let's see, if we touch this. Mm 
Okay, I guess that's now a location for us. Huh. Not 100% sure. I think that's what that means. Let's head back. There's that. I think this is... Yeah, that leads out. I think. Yeah, that takes us out. We don't want to go that way. We're going to talk to Mother Meun. And then we're going back to the Archer Guild. We're going to see what our first little quest is. We're going to do a quest. What is this? Huh. This should be fun. Got Quiver, Chocobo Keep. There's Bernadette. That was with the Aetherites, right? Was she the Aetherite person? No idea. <gasps> Chocobos! I love Chocobos. So I'm a big, huge... I've been playing Final Fantasy games for a very long time, so I've been really looking forward to doing this. This was so much fun. So excited. So, so excited. Alright, Mother Meun, here we go. Hey! The Conquering Hero returns. Have you completed my little tasks, I trust? Oh, you have completed my little tasks, I trust. The three locations you visit, visited will feature prominently in your life as an adventurer. It is best you grow familiar with them as soon as possible. Okay. And you took the time to listen to the woes of the citizenry. I cannot emphasize how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial the matter may seem. Uh, okay. I'm thankful that you are an obliging sort, Keikami. It's adventurers like you who will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who follow. I pray Gridania can rely on your aid in its struggles to come. You betcha. Complete. Yes! Oh, and we can't do this quest. Really quick. Talk to Bannock. This is a level four. We're only level three. So that means we actually do have to go do the uh, the archer quest. So let's go get that done. We're going to head this way. I think we go this direction. So the signs... Archer that way. Rest of the town that way. Oh, look. Eighth right. Look, they actually did do this. Eighth right, that direction. So they do put signs up. Good to know. We'll be able to find our way. I think we'll be okay. I think we can make it. Pretty sure we can make it. Then we got... Okay. So... There we go. So we gotta talk to Lucene. 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 Hey! The Guildmaster, okay. Greetings, adventurer. I'm told you wish to join our ranks. Sure. I am Lucene, the master of the Archer's Guild, and I bid you welcome. Our doors are open to all who have the will to learn. Allow me to explain the basics of our art and offer you a foretaste of that which we teach the members of our guild. The bow's greatest advantage is its range. Unlike those arms used in other disciplines of war, it allows one to strike the enemy from afar. Though the bow, though the bow may not boast the destructive force of a sword or spear, its myriad strategic applications more than compensate for its shortcomings. An experienced archer can immobilize an enemy by striking a leg or sap its strength with a poisoned arrow. Okay. Rise to become a virtuoso of archery and a veritable deluge of death. 
will be yours to rain down upon your foes. Okay. By fighting from a distance, we can better assess the battlefield and thereby determine the most advantageous course of action. This is the paramount importance, as our role in battle is to exploit the enemy's weakness. With the requisite placement and timing, but a single arrow may serve to turn the tide. To this end, the guild seeks to instill a discerning eye within its members, that they might learn to strike vulnerabilities swiftly and surely. Now, any halfwit can bend the bow, but it's no simple undertaking to become a skilled archer. You must be prepared for a long and arduous journey. Are you resolved to complete that journey? Sure. Why not? Very well. Now, before proceeding any further, I must needs gauge your innate aptitude for archery. To this end, I hereby assign you the following trial. Okay. Slay the squirrels, ladybugs, and fungars that roam just beyond the city. The city gates. Three of each should be suffice. Uh, okay. In doing so, you will prove your fitness to join the Archer's Guild. Report back to me with the, when the task is accomplished. I doubt that it'll trouble you unduly. Okay. I guess we'll try that. Let's give it a try. Uh, let's head out. We shall kill the squirrels. And the ladybugs. Not the ladybugs. And forced fungars. They aren't fun guys, they're fungars. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> let's let's go out this direction. Oops. Didn't mean for the camera to move like that. That's cool. Way of the Archer. So let's see. We're gonna go out the way we came, because this is the way we know. And let's go see what we can find. This should be fun. I think we got this. Pretty sure we got this. Here we go. Battle. Discovered a new location. Right click on a target to switch to active mode and ready auto attack. Oh, we have auto attack? And face the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target you are currently attacking. Various actions such as spells and weapon skills can be performed by clicking the icons located in the hotbar screen. These actions are initiated, okay. Most actions require magic points. To execute, in addition to having recast times. Okay. And disciples of magic discipline of war specialize in range attacks, such as archers, are best suited for fighting their targets from a distance. All right. Then we got achievements. Congratulations, you just received your first achievement. Oh, we did? I didn't know we did. I guess we did. Achievements are earned by reaching certain milestones during your adventures in Eorzea. And there are achievements for just about everything, from leveling classes and uncovering locations to defend, defeating enemies and earning gil. Okay. There are also rewards granted upon attaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare weapons, armor, others include titles, which can be added to your display name to show your greatness. Oh, all right. Let's do this. So, we found the squirrels. We found a squirrel and a ladybug. Let's see if we can get the squirrel. Right there, I think this is how we do this. And one. Can it again? Was, there we go. We got it. Squirrel is easy. Experience points. In the event multiple solar player, solo players attack the same target, the player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience. And items dropped. Player who follows will be rewarded based on their contribution. See a fellow player in need of a hand, don't hesitate. Oh. And binding items. An item you have equipped is now bound. You can no longer be traded or put up for sale. Most items can be sold and traded freely before they are used before they are used in battle. Okay, crafting or gathering. 
about old crafting or gathering. This is true regardless of whether or not they have been equipped. However, performing one of these three actions after equipping a new piece of gear will bind the item to you, preventing future trade. Mm. Interesting. Or sale to other players. Okay. NPC shops will still purchase bound items. So you can sell them to NPCs, but you can't put them up on like a market board, I guess. So let's see this. Okay. Got that one. And we need a third squirrel here. Can we tab? We can. Oh my goodness, that goes all over the place. Let's go escape. Let's go to character. Where is our control setting, maybe? Enable direct chat, 3D locations, warnings, cameras, no. Item setting, UI, display, hotbar, targets. How about targets? Face target, yeah. Pets. Executing. Cone. I think we want cone. Apply. Close. I think we'll start with that. Okay. Oh, nice girl. There we go. We got it. We got the squirrels. Let's get the ladybugs. Can we walk? Yes, we can walk while we shoot. Okay, that's good. Oh, this will make life really easy. Okay. Then the last one is this ladybug. Oh, we got two. Alright. I think we're good there. We slayed the ladybugs. <laughs> Ooh. Let's not accidentally hit that guy. There's the forest fungar. Fungar. He's not a fun guy, he's a fungar. Oops, he's a level three. Two. One more. There we go. We got this one here. Can we do that one? One. And one. Okay. Got that one. Let's see what we get here. That one? Oh, can we do this one? There we go. Is there anything we can... No, I guess we don't have to pick them up. Oh, someone's taking out that little tree sapling thing. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's head back. Not a bad little... Um, foyer into the... Uh, world of combat. I like the ladybugs and the squirrels. We'll take them out. <laughs> Someone's getting a ladybug. Oh. Yeah? Nice. Here we go. Did we level up? Oh, we're close. We're getting close. Let's go to the Archer Guild. So I run up? Nope, we can't run yet. This way. Like Pascaline here. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, guess what? We did it, we did it, we did it. We got it. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Hikami. It would seem you have successfully completed the trial. We did. You have proven yourself worthy of a place within these halls. It is with pleasure that I name you an Archer of the Guild. As fellows of the path, let us together strive for greater mastery of our art. 
Now, though you may be a member of the Archers Guild, know that your seniors will not coddle you with personal attention. It's up to you to seek out the experiences you need to grow as an archer, okay? To this end, I present you with this hunting log. Written within are the names of such creatures as would provide a fitting challenge. Should you find yourself lacking direction, you would do well to refer to the log. By way of a first step, I encourage you to practice proper technique. Loose arrow after arrow, paying close attention to form until the movement becomes second nature. When drawing your bowstring has become as natural to you as drawing breath, and the world seems clearer when viewed down the shaft of an arrow, return to me. Go well, my young apprentice. Next archer quest will be available from Lucene upon reaching level 5. Okay. And we get our food. Food! But we're also level 4. Hunting log obtained. Using items. Some items can be used granting various effects such as instant HP restoration, attribute, bo attribute boosts, and more. Using an item is as simple as selecting use from the item subcommands. All items with recast timers can be used again until the timer has expired. Items you use can often be set to your hotbar for easy access. Okay. Hunting log. The hunting log is a record of your completion of tasks involving the slaying of certain creatures. By completing these tasks, you will earn rewards and unlock new challenges. The log can be accessed via logs found in the main menu or by pressing H on your keyboard. Once the log is open, select a class and difficulty to view the available challenges for each rank. Each challenge is marked with a class name and number, such as Lancer01. Below that name and number, you will find the target, as well as how many of the target you must defeat. Hovering over the target name will display one of the areas which the target can be located. Oh, so this is it. Targets indicated in your hunting log will have a special icon above their display name, making it easier to locate the creatures. Perfect. That's really what we need to know. H for hunting log? Okay. Ladybugs, squirrels, and forest fungars. Hey, we can get those. We know where those are at. I say we do the first three items of our hunting log. Let's go talk to Mother Meun. Since we do have archer level four, we'll pick up that quest. No, can we not do it? I thought it was level four. Maybe it's level five. Maybe we're so. Maybe we do need to do the level five. That's okay. We'll do the hunting log. Maybe that'll get us started. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, we can. It's okay. It's just oddly shaped there. Okay, I thought it was level four. Level four. Miyun wishes to send an adventurer to the instructor at the Bannock. Okay. Okay, Kami, have you visited the Bannock on your wanderings? I don't know. It's a training ground found just outside the city where the soldiers of the Order of the Twin Adder are drilled in swordplay and other martial matters. I mention this because an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Galfred, is an instructor there, and I think you may be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself and find out if there's anything you can do to help. Mind, you do not stray far from the path. The Twelve's Wood is no place for merry strolls through the underbrush. They don't know me. <laughs> I love to wander off the path. Man, path, what's that? We don't do roads. We hate roads. Purposely avoiding them. Every time. We're gonna get some ladybugs. We're gonna get some fungars. We're gonna get some squirrels. We're gonna make our way to the bannock. I think, oh, hello. Look at this. I love it. That is cool looking. I like the car. All right, let's go. We do need the squirrel. Let's do this. Boom, what's three do? Oh, nothing, okay, shoot. There we go. Maybe we should read our abilities. Increases damage dealt by 15% for 20 seconds. Ooh, all right. 
Let's do it. Boop, boop. Oh, no, oh, go away. Did that thing actually get me? Are we seriously gonna... Okay. Got some brown squirrels. Got another one. Do we get all the ground squirrels? No, we need one more, I guess. Two. Two is up. Let's do it. There we go. Ground squirrel completed. Ladybug. Let's get the ladybug. Alright, we got the ladybug. We need this ladybug. There we go. And we'll get this ladybug. Two. Two crocked. There we go. There we go. We're almost at level five. Always good. Here's our fungars. I wonder where we're going. The bannock. There it is, right here. Okay, so it's just kind of straight ahead. So we're going to get these fungi's. Or fungars. They aren't fun guys, they're fungars. Got it. Oh no, you don't. No? Oh. Maybe it does. Woohoo! Level up. Okay. Got that one. Try this one. Go. Three. One. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I did good. Okay, that got us some. Oh, do we have to get another fate system? Oh. Fate is a short for full time full active time event. These public quests occur periodically in real time around Eorzea. Anyone can participate by simply showing up before one ends. When you sense a fate nearby, a message will appear on your screen and the location will be displayed on your map. Okay. The type of fate in progress can be identified by its map icon. Mousing over the icon will display the fate's title. You'll automatically join the fate the moment you cross the event threshold. At this time, the fate title, objectives, and time remaining will appear in your duty list. If you are several levels higher than the recommendation, recommended level, a level sync button will appear in your duty list. Press the button to automatically lower your level so that you may participate and receive rewards. Okay. We need another fungi. Oh, one second. There we go. Fungi. Come here. We got a two. Yeah. That give us all our fungies? Fungars? They aren't really fungies, they're more like fungars. Alright, so I think we go around, I think we're going this way. The bannock, here we go. We found it. Yay! Ooh, we got a merchant. What do you sell? Items? How much gold do we have? We got food. We should probably eat some food. Animal skin, some mushrooms. You got potions. Okay. Shops. Oh, shoot. Shops. Items can be bought. Yep. Purchasing as simple as clicking on an item. Yeah, I figured as much. Clicking. Sell. It's kind of standard, I think. Buy back. Okay. I think we're good with the merchant. Let's do add. I want to eat some of this. Let's use our food. Right? Well fed. Do we get like a buff somewhere that we can see? Oh, yeah, right here. 29 minutes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That'll last to the end of our, our stream. Galfred. Hey, Galfred. Greetings, Keikami Heart. Miyun sent word to expect you. My name is Galfred, and I'm responsible for training our twin adder recruits. Thank you for volunteering your assistance. 
The Twelve's Wood is much changed since the calamitous arrival of the Seventh Umbral Era five years ago. What is happening with us? A power of the elements wanes, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost at the strong run rampant stifling... Hold on. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong run rampant, stifling the weak and new sprung. There we go. Better. Though it may not appear so to the eyes of an outsider, the twelfth's wood is ailing. It's one rich variety of... One... It's once rich variety of fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty, and it is my hope that adventurers such as you will offer aid to them in their struggle. Listen to the requests and do all that you can. May the elementals bless your endeavors, Kikami Heart. All right. So we can do that. We can't complete. Oh, we got to pick some. Ooh, do we want some thigh boots? Some other thigh boots. This one here looks better. 13 versus 8 or gold. We're going to grab these boots. Okay. And we're going to back up a bit because I don't know what's going on up there, but something's happening. And we learned leg graze. A fixed target with heavy. Okay. Since the armory system in Final Fantasy 14 allows you to change your class or job by simply changing the weapon or tool in your main hand, good to know, it's recommended that you always have several sets of gear on hand. However, gear can take up a tremendous amount of space in one's inventory, inventory, which is why all adventurers carry an armory chest. All gear purchased, crafted, or found is automatically stored in this chest, leaving your inventory free to fill with other items such as potions, crafting materials, and food. Gear in your armory chest is categorized and sorted by type. and can be equipped or discarded directly from the chest interface. Armory chests can be accessed at any time by selecting the main menu followed by armory chests or, or pressing control I. Now, I'm going to back away out of that because I don't know what that glitch is. It's driving me nuts, though. Man, I hope you guys aren't seeing that. So I think if we go to our character, see, character creation, I believe we can go to gear set. This is our gear set list. No gear set saved. Okay. So we can... Oh, we got a ring and we got some thigh boots. So I think this here tells us which one... Yeah, current, what we currently have, and what's recommended. So we're going to equip. Oh my god, those are hideous. <laughs> they look so bad. Oh, that's funny. Well, it is our best gear. Until we're able to get better gear, we're going to look really funny for a while. <laughs> oh, we're going to see how goofy we get. Okay, so we got that. So let's go to gear set list. I think we can create one. Yep, archer. Perfect. Now, I think this saves our, um, our, our armor. So I think we're good. Gear set, one archer. Okay, let's do it. So, now let's talk to Galfred again. So what do you want us to do? Galfred, chief instructor at the Bannock, wishes to inspect your equipment and thereby gauge your readiness for future missions. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're ready. I see you are eager to, eager to lend a hand, Keikami. That is well. But I cannot, in good conscience, send you into the forest until I have established that your equipment is equal to the task. It bears repeating that in the five years since the dawn of the Seventh Umbral Era, many of the Twelve, wo Twelve Woods creatures have transformed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. Venturing into the forest without proper gear is tantamount to suicide. Okay. I suggest you take some time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be of sufficient quality, present yourself to me for inspection. Okay, equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level 5 or above before returning to speak with Galfred. Okay. You can equip, remove, okay, by pressing C. I think we figured out how to equip gear. Alright, so we need, we need gear. No, let's do character C. And yeah, we need to find some gear. We only got a piece of feet. 
and we got to get everything else. So let's see, what can we do to get gear? Do any of these guys offer gear? Maybe we can do some of this. What do you do? No, you offer gold. No. You offer gear. You offer food. We'll wait. Perhaps we buy something. How much gold do we have? We have 300 gold. 337 gold. Hmm. Merchant and mender. Let's see what you got. You got level 5 gear? Battle gear. Oh my goodness. It is expensive. Oh, 141. We could get an eye patch. <laughs> eh. A hat. I like. No, that's. Hmm. No. Ugh. Definitely no. 23 versus 21. That would, there would be better. Let's see. We can get gear from our other quest. I think we can pick up, I think we can actually pick up the, um, 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 what am I thinking of? The archer quest. Let's grab that. Cause I said it unlocked at level five. We're at level six. So we should be able to pick that up now. Let's do that. Maybe we can get something that'll work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we can do it, right? Ugh. Here's it to my nose. We should try out this fast travel thing too. This is a run. If we have to run back and forth here. Bernadette offer. Do you do anything? Potions and wind shards. Uh, no, we're good. We're gonna wait. Let's go this way. Hmm. Someone give me pants. <laughs> she really needs pants. Or something. A skirt, pants, I don't care what. Anything. Let's go over here. Let's see what we get. What does this quest get us? Alright. Lucene! We need something. Ah, this will work. Eye patch. The gloves. That would work. Necklace. Okay. And a new bow. Ooh, we get a new bow. Except, good morrow to you, Kekami. I felt that it was about time you returned. Have you grown more accustomed to the bow? A little bit. A little bit. Before we go any further, I wish to ensure that you have grasped the fundamental essence of archery. Tell me, Kekami, do you truly understand what it means to see clearly? To see clearly is not merely to look, it is to observe with intent. Fail to do this, and no amount of talent with a bow will avail you. An archer must remain diligent for any trace of his target, looking not the smallest detail lest it provide crucial to the realization of its, of its purpose. He must, in short, see clearly. The coming task will test your powers of observation. Okay. A number of targets have been hidden throughout the city. I would have you seek out and destroy them. Each will fall easily to your heavy shot technique. When you have completed the task, return to me and we will continue. Okay. So let's go find some stuff around town here. She hid some stuff for us to shoot. Oh, there's one. Heavy shot. Okay. So can we just do... There we go. Destroy targets. One of six. Oh, wow. Six? Is there one over here? These could be anywhere, guys. That's okay, we're gonna do it. Oh, there's one. Tab target does not 
get it either. So you can't cheat with tab target. <laughs> Too bad. There's one, two. Oh, looks like our mini map here gives us a little bit of an idea. So there's one kind of in this area. Oh, there it is. See it? Right there. There we go. Three. What's over here? This looks cool. Huh. No idea. There's another one around here. Just what we need, another outsider. I saw that comment. And... Oh, archery buff. Maybe it's on, maybe we gotta go on this side for it. There we go. Boom, got it. Then, there's one over here. Oh, yep, there it is. Look at it up there. That's kind of cool. There, okay. Oh, there's one. Got it. Did we get all six? Destroy the targets. We did it. Success. We are amazing. We're so amazing. We're going to do this. We're going to get some, maybe some clothes. We're going to see what clothes we get. We need something. Although, you know, there's a cute butt. <laughs> I am jealous. Not going to lie. Slightly jealous. All right. Hey, the next trial will test your powers of observation in battle. Travel to the North Shroud. And there, put down eight micro... microchus and eight opo opos. Opo opos. Microchus and opo opos. Really? In contrast, the innate and wholly unthreatening targets of the previous trial, these creatures may be relied upon to move around and fight back. Nor are those on the only differences, but being comparatively numerous, Microchests and Opa Opos are anything but difficult to find. And yet, you may be assured that this task will test your powers of observation, albeit in a different manner. This time, you will need to evaluate the abilities of your opponent. In doing so, you will learn, amongst other things, that the Microchests produce a poison that can quickly sap one's strength, while Opa Opos, like archers, possess the advantage of range. Hmm. Knowing their strengths, how will you go about mitigating them? If you commence your attack before identifying an effective strategy, you will soon be made to regret your folly. But if you take the time to observe your targets from afar, you will surely glean the knowledge necessary to defeat them. I look forward to hearing of your success, Keikami. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go fell some, uh, Opa Opos and Micro Juice. Microchus. Microchus? Microchus? Maybe Microchus. Hey, that's how we say that. Where do we need to go? Matter of perspective. Did she say North Shroud, South Shroud? What, where are we going? Far North Shroud. Map. No. Map? No. Close? Alright, we'll close this. We'll go map. North Shroud. Central, Central. I'm assuming we gotta go... Can we back out? I think we can back out. Central. North Shroud's all the way over here. Ooh. All right. So let's follow this around. We'll take this little loop. We need these pants. Or a top or something. We're going to do this. Um, this way? Let's go up one. No, we want to go across. So 
So by the crystal and around to the other side. Let's see what we get. Hey! The knot? Huh. Oh my god, that thing's so cute. I think this is where we need to go, right? Twin Adder Barracks. Do we go up this way? I think we go up one. I think this is that little... So if we go up... North Shroud. Perfect. That's exactly where we want to go. Um... Is that up here? I think that's up here. No. North Shroud. Yep. There we go. We can do this. Or not bonting it. <laughs> I love the name. That was kind of fun to say. North Shroud. Oh, mapping the realm. North Shroud. Okay, okay. Oh, we got brown squirrels here. And more ladybugs. Our favorite things to kill. Um, let's see. We gotta go right here, huh? Let's go... Maybe we'll go around this direction. <gasps> Look at this. Those are cool. Got some stuff over here. Maybe this way. Where are we? Yeah. Maybe we go this way. Told you we don't follow roads. Yep, there's an Opo Opo. Opo Opo! Uh, let's do three. Let's start with a poison shot. Aw, oh, you can't throw things at me. Come on. Stop that. Whew. One. You gotta get eight of these. Oh, we got two. Here we go. Done. Oh, we got a Mitch Swarm. We can do that. That'll do our log. We will take care of the log stuff. <laughs> I don't know how you kill a swarm, but we just did. Let's grab that one. Poison. Okay. Got this one. Poison. We got this. One more here. And one more. Done. Another opo opo. Five. We need three more. There we go. And one more. Okay. Oh, six. Oh no, we gotta let's back away a little bit. And one more. It's not hurting us too bad. For not having much armor. Oh, that's our strength. We need that. You get it? Alright, Opa Opas are done. Let's get this midge swarm. There we go. And one more. Got it. Get this other swarm. Uh, two. And one more. Huh. And there we go. Did we get all the swarms? No, nope, looks like we gotta get a couple more swarms. And a mightling, huh? Mm. We got a few things we can get over here. 
gonna try to avoid the Ixel though. And they did try shooting at us. There we go. Pitch form. Done. Right lane. How far back can we go? There we go. God, it looks like a giant spider. Ugh. Ugh. We don't like spiders. That's gross. Let's get this one. Yeah. Straight shot. Versus, like, you know. Got it. One more spider, I think. There we go. Okay. We got that one. Woohoo! We leveled up. Alright. Uh, we need to find our next objective. Oh, it's all the way up here? Matter of perspective. Alright, so escape. We need to go up this way, I think. Got some opo opos. Got our mish swarms. Is there a spot over there? No. Looks like we gotta keep going this way. Opo opos. I'm assuming it's across this bridge. Oh yeah, there's the mito whatevers. A micro chew. Micro chews. It's almost like Pikachu's, but they're micro chews. Ah. Not too bad. I think we got this. Oh, God. Don't get close. Oh. No, we don't want to join the fate. Level 8. I just want to shoot this thing. What are we doing? We're we gonna get this thing? Okay. We're gonna try. Two. Ooh, let's back up. Okay. Especially savage Viper Chew is on the loose and must be reduced to mulch. Best to be allowed to run the forest freely, feeding on cuddly woodland creatures and Lala Felon children. Hey, we did it! Fate rewards! Once a fate is complete, a window detailing your reward will be displayed. Okay. More active you are in completing event objectives, the greater your contribution will be deemed. Contributions is indicated via gold, silver, bronze medals. Okay. Let's continue killing our micro chews. Our micro Pikachu. Micro chew. Micro chew. Maybe that'll do it. Nope. Ah, oh, you got me. It's cute on us. It's gross. All right, here we go. Micro chew. How many more do we got? We only hit three of them. Oh man. Poison. Here, you get poison. So you can play this poison game. Got it. Let's get this one over here. Five. I'm gonna call this population down a bit. Okay. Or six. Uh, let's find one. I guess we'll get that one. He's right there. Got it? Yeah, there we go. And this should be our last one. There. 
some dots on them. Maybe. Yeah, we got a little dot on them. Here we go. And one more. Yeah! We got it. Slay the microchews. What's over here? A house, some repairs, a trader. Nah. I think we're going this way. I think we're heading back. Where's our Opa Opos? Why do I feel like we just went into the wrong spot? Because we did. in. So we're on a little bit of a gear quest. It's kind of what I'm seeing. Does this get us? No, nope, that's not our spot. That's not home. We're almost there. I think it's over here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just like looking at everything. Ah, oh, 22 seconds. Longish cooldown. And yellow serpent gate. Okay. Let's go say hi to our folks. We're going to try this fast travel thing. I want to see how this works. Ah! Because we don't run nearly fast enough. We need like a cooldown reduction or something, man. So let's go to... Archers? New Gridania Archer's Guild, right here. <gasps> Ooh, this is how you port. We figured out how to port. I like it. This will make life easier for us, I think. I don't think that costs us too much easier, either. Ah, oh, we just wasted our thing. That's okay. What do we got? Welcome back, young Keikami. Tell me, were you able to put your techniques to good use? I think so. When faced with an enemy who can attack from a distance, simply raining arrows upon it is wasteful and dangerous both. The battle would be not more than a contest of strength. By employing the proper technique, however, one may bring down one's foe with greater ease and fewer arrows. For instance, you may choose to prime your weapon well and strike hard, or employ toxins to sap their strength over time. On the assumption that this fact dawned upon you prior to the fall of your 16th target, I congratulate you on passing the trial. Thank you. Lei, Severe, what's your honest evaluation? Lee and Severe. Not bad if you ask me. The adventurer pulls a good bow, and is enthusiastic besides. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Lei... Eliapo. Yeah, Eliapo. And this is my second year at the guild. It's quite plain that you have a talent with the bow, but you must take care to mind your surroundings when you're pursuing a target. I had my eye on you for the duration of your trial, but not once did you notice my presence. Uh-oh. Mind your surroundings. That is rich coming from you. Hmm? Your every movement is wasteful, adventurer. Your back is crooked, your elbows misaligned. It takes you an age to prime your bow and twice as long to loose an arrow. 
In summary, you fail on all counts. You have no talent as an archer, none whatsoever. I shall say it plain, Lucane. This woman is not fit to wield a bow. For our sake and hers, we should revoke her membership. <gasps> really? I've always said outsiders can scarce be expected to understand, never mind master, our noble art. We waste our breath trying to teach, like, teach her like. Well, allow me to introduce you to Sever, our comrade at the butts. <laughs> the fellow is once one of God's quiver, you see, and he can be a little opinionated when it comes to archery. Oh, but you mustn't pay him any a heed. He's like that to everyone. You'd be lucky to get much sense out of a fossil-brained Wildwood Ellison like him at the best of times. With them, it's always twelve woods this and elementals that and oh, ahem, <clears throat> no offense intended, Lucine. None taken lay, I know full well that some of my kind can be prideful to excess and intolerant of other races. Although people may behold the same object, they will never, they will, ever will they see different things. There's no right or wrong to it, for it is a question of perspective. What matters is this perspective we choose to adopt. You are possessed of bright eyes, Keikami. Eyes that bespeak great understanding. They shan't lead you astray, so trust them and to what they see. Thank you. Now go now and resume your training. I look forward to marking your progress next time we meet. <laughs> Quick drink. Ooh, so we get to pick what we want. Do we want Disciple of War? Custom made tunic. Not bad. A leather eye patch. So that's 21, that's 29. We need like one of these three to kind of start us off. I say we get the plus eight. No, oh, that's plus 21 though. That'll give us a lot more defense. I don't want the eye patch though. I think we can take it off though. But a tunic would be nice. Let's get the tunic, we need some clothes. Complete. Untradable items. You have obtained an untradable item. This item is yours and yours alone and cannot be sold or traded. Okay. You have attained a unique item. This item is special and can never you can never possess more than one at a time. Okay. So let's go to our character slot. Let's go to our recommended gear. Yes, we can turn and put on our new bow and we can get on our tunic. Well, it's a little bit better than what we had. And I think upgrade, yep, that upgrades our gear set. So we're good there. No, we still haven't passed mustard. We cannot pass mustard. Okay. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. We're starting, right? We are starting. Hi. It's still raining. So, with that, I say next time we will definitely go through and try to continue earning gear. I don't know how we're going to earn gear, but we're going to try to figure out how to earn gear. Maybe we buy some. We may have to. Because I think if we go to our gear, we need level 5 stuff. So that means we need hands yet, and we need legs. Oh no! Level 5. Oh, level one. Ha! Ah. Item level five. Level one. Level one. Level five. Level five. Okay. I think this is what we need. So we need head. We need hands. We need this. Okay. So we're getting there. It's in order to be able to continue on the main story quest. So. This is where we're gonna continue. Oh, can we zoom in? <gasps> we can. She looks all right. We're starting to look better. You know, we aren't feeling as exposed. 
So with that, if you made it this far, thank you so much for joining my first stream. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really, really appreciate it. My goodness, this has been so exciting. So I will catch you guys next time. I think we might actually start a stream on Wednesday nights, um, just for a couple hours. I know those on the East Coast, I'm a West Coast person. So those on the East Coast, it might be really, really late, but the videos will be posted and uh, saved on, on, my, uh, on my channel. So yeah, with that, let's see. I will talk to you later. So hi. <laughs> With that, I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for joining. And I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as it greatly helps out my channel. Hope to see you soon.